That's one of them Alabama roosters. See, he fall in love with the way he sound and wants to crow about everything. Every time the notion strikes him, that don't do nothing but get people confused. That kind of rooster ain't good for nobody. Best thing you can do is try and make a stew out of him if you want to take the time to fuss with it. Then you got your Georgia rooster. It don't know it's a rooster. It thinks it's a dog. It crow every time somebody come around. It don't do nothing but make the bulldog mad because it's trying to put out of a job. Then you got your Mississippi rooster. He sit up on the roost and roost. The sun even acts like it want to come up. He be right there with it. The sun come up at five. He crow at 501. Seem like he say, let me do this and get it over with so I can go back to roosting. He take his job real serious. But he don't want to be working all day. He say, I crow once in the morning and twice on Sunday. Let you know when it's time to go to church. That's the only time he crow other than if somebody disturbed their hands in the barnyard. That's the way your Mississippi roost is. I'll tell you another thing about the rooster. The rooster didn't crow during slavery. He say, nah, I ain't gonna be a part of nothing like that. I ain't gonna wake nobody up. He didn't start crowing again until after the Emancipation Proclamation. The people got to whooping and hollering. So he say, nah, you all ain't gonna leave me out. That's why he crows so loud. If you think I'm lying, Go and find you somebody from slavery time and ask them if they ever heard a rooster crow.